politics. In a statement, Moore says he is sure the conservative government will be re-elected in the fall, but it tells us that it isn't as far as the Friday James Moore will step down as industry minister after the federal election scheduled for October the 19th. The latest data gathered by the RCMP on murdered and missing Aboriginal women and girls is about to be released in Ottawa. The update prompted New Democrats in question period to call for a public inquiry into the issue. The Parliamentary Secretary for the Status of Women, Minister Susan Trubay, flatly rejected the appeal. Well, we need to respect that public authority that we already have. It's our government that's taking action. It's our government that says that for Aboriginal women and girls, not that side of the house. Right on. The RCMP report is expected to provide updated details from last year's national overview that listed nearly 1,200 Native women as murdered or missing. A London, Ontario woman has been found guilty of dangerous driving in connection with a deadly crash outside a Costco store last summer. A six-year-old was killed and her pregnant mother lost a baby after 66-year-old Ruth Berger drove her car through the store's entrance. Berger will be sentenced this fall. South of the border, prayer vigils will be held in Charleston, South Carolina this evening in memory of nine members of a historic black church shot and killed on Wednesday night. The suspected gunman, 21-year-old Dylan Roof, has been charged and is in custody. Stephen D'Souza reports. He's facing nine charges of murder, as well as one charge of possession of a weapon. And we're hearing reports about what he's told investigators in terms of his motive, saying that he wanted to incite a race war. But there's also reports that he told investigators that at one point he almost didn't go through with it because people were so nice to him. You'll recall that investigators said that he came to this church and was sitting in on the Bible study for about an hour before allegedly firing the fatal shots. So that information is not to When Kevin Jurgensen needs light, he trusts only Duracell Quantum because it lasts longer than 99% of devices. families and local communities. Settlement of four and a half million dollars. And that is CBC News. I'm Zintar Sir.